PowerPoint has a great new feature. You can now do subtitles live while you're doing your presentation. So I have a PowerPoint on Paris. Doesn't matter how many slides I have. By default, you'll be on the Home tab. You want to go to Slideshow to see this feature. Right now, this is only for Office 365 subscribers, and it just rolled out this month, which is January. So if you don't have this yet, it will be coming soon if you have an Office 365 account. Mac, yes, you'll get this. Windows, yes, you'll get this. So I have a group called Captions and Subtitles. I'm going to go to Subtitle Settings. Your spoken language, I believe there's 12 different languages in there. I didn't count them. Your subtitle language, I've already selected Spanish. You can see it here. But just to let you see what's in here, I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to slowly scroll down. There are over 60 different languages in here to pick from. I'm going to select Spanish. I've already clicked it and put a check mark next to it. The next question is what microphone do you want to use? I do a lot of public speaking on technology, so if I was speaking at a public event, I would go to microphone and I would make sure I have the lapel mic chosen as an example. But in my example, I'm sitting here, so I have two mics. That's the one that came on my desktop on my laptop computer. There's the mic I have plugged in, which is a blue snowball. That's the name of it, so I clicked it. And then the last thing, and this is still again really simple, where do you want to see the subtitles? I'm going to just take the default that says bottom overlay. And there are four other options to pick from right there. So one, English, two, whatever language you want to see in subtitles, what microphone are you using, and then how do you want to see them? I checked always use subtitles. This will only work when you're running your slideshow. So here we go. You can either do the F5 function key, but I'm going to just use the mouse and hit from beginning. When I click this, look in the bottom left corner, and I believe it should say starting subtitles. Hello, this is Chris Menard. I appreciate you having me at your annual event. Today I'm going to discuss Paris, the capital of France, not Paris, Texas. Here's a quick agenda that I'm going to run through. I'm not going to read all this to you. So let's go ahead and dive in on the history of Paris. Blah, blah, blah. I'm making stuff up. Next slide, it says administration. I'm going to press escape. It apparently is working. So that is slideshow, captions, and subtitles. And this thing uses Microsoft Speech Service, in case you're wondering. So I actually find this really amazing. Uh, I hope you like it also. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And in case you're wondering what I have coming up next week, I'm going to cover seven steps you should always use when doing a Zoom online meeting or web conference, whatever you're going to call it. I actually love Zoom. And I'm also going to cover some more features in Snagit, the screen capture program. And then I'll go back to Excel, PowerPoint, Word, other stuff. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day.